Hey guys, welcome back to another Minecraft Concepts video. As seen in the demo, I'll be teaching you how to make death effects for all entities like players and mobs, which can be implemented into your own PvP maps to push it to that next level. I'll also cover how to make blood particles anytime an entity gets damaged, which can be very helpful if you're planning to make a horror map or something. All commands will be down in the description below. Just as a disclaimer, this only works on Java Edition, but with that out of the way, let's get straight into it. Alright, firstly, the kill effects. Now, how this works is with XP orbs. Anytime an entity dies, they drop experience orbs. So I made the command to detect that, and then put an effect at that location, and then finally just clear the XP orbs. Um, pretty simple concept. So anyways, I've made three different types of effects that you can use, uh, from a lightning bolt, uh, explosion, or firework. For the lightning bolt and explosion effect, um, just place down three repeating command blocks, always active as well, or facing upwards. And then go to the description of this video, and then you'll find each of the corresponding commands that you have to put into each of the command blocks. Simple enough. So, for the firework effect, I'll link a website where you can design your own firework. Once you have the command to summon the firework, place it into the end of the firework command um, I've put in the description, like so. And also, don't forget to remove the slash before it says summon. Okay, so once you've done that, just place down another repeating always active command block on top of that. And then copy and paste the command in the description below. And that's your firework effect done. Okay, so moving on to the blood particles, which took some time for me to figure out. Um, now, you don't have to know how it works, but basically it just detects when an entity has taken damage. And then puts a particle that looks like blood at that location. Um, so once again, the command is in the description below. I've included one that is only for particles for players, and an one that's for all entities. Just copy and paste the command into a repeating always active command block and it should work. And that's it. I hope you learned something from this. If you liked this video, I'd appreciate it a lot if you would like and subscribe if you haven't already. So yeah, uh, see you in the next one.